Okay, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good evening. Welcome everyone to the Berry's blog. My name is Douglas Imaswe, uh, Honey Berry, and uh, here with me is uh, my wife. Yep, Sweet Berry. <laughs> Praise <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're back again. Sorry for the little break in, uh, in transmission. Just we're, we're just trying to settle, settle in. in and uh, fix up one or two stuff we needed to do because you all are aware that we're just moving into our new home. Uh, at least we're free from <laughs> oh all inconveniences. Like no, the uh, the only the thought of getting accommodation. An like this. <laughs> To be honest, it's scary. It's scary because oh, I remember they are like, oh, we came in and we had some persons. They said they've been in the hotel in A and B, A B and B for God. a month. So I'll tell you, a month and two weeks, and they are yet to get accommodation. Accommodation, and we we are just coming less less than three days. We we are hearing this story. So is uh, I think is enough reason for one. Somebody to somebody said that uh, getting accommodation is even more, more difficult, difficult than, than getting, getting the visa. visa. <laughs> well, if you come this place, that's where you will know we the meaning of that. Like, I'm telling you, I think, um, <laughs> hey God. The problem I think they have, I think I think there's a housing housing crisis. Yes, I think like, it's not just about uh, maybe yeah. students coming like on a norm. Yeah, UK is having some housing crisis. crisis. Because, uh, um, Making My, a booking yeah. and uh, you're told that you're the forty fourth person, not four <laughs> person, like forty four persons that is viewing that same apartment. It's so crazy. imagine forty four. You're the forty four. Maybe they will have to uh, make it open for sixty persons. And after the whole stuff, you're just letting it out for just one person. So you know how devastating. It will sometimes you go, they say you're the thirtieth person. So yeah, so I, I think that's why we want to talk about this yeah, housing. These housing issues to tell you guys how it worked for us. And maybe uh it was a miracle though, but I think there are some few there are some steps we took that uh tips, prepared us yeah. tips that we really want to share that uh perhaps if you look into same thing we did, maybe you you look into that direction you I might think stand a greater chance. Must, yeah. I love, I love, I think I love that one. Yeah. You, you, you stand a better chance because that's what counts. You standing a better chance of the getting competition the competition is mad. So we'll just share the tips for those looking for accommodation. You think of coming to the UK already in the UK, mm. and you think of getting accommodation. Just tell and it's also things. very much possible to use this tip and still get accommodation even before you come, come into, into the UK. UK. Yeah. So I think before we go, for for talk about uh, first of all. Let's assume you've gotten your visa and all of that, and the next step is getting accommodation, yeah. right? Especially those that will be coming with families, maybe your husband, wife, children. Yeah. So the first thing first, you need to first of all know where to go or how to go about getting this accommodation. And the first thing first you need to do is to get appointment for viewing. Yeah. Right. So, but before you get to the point of getting an appointment for viewing, there are sites you need to actually look into when looking for uh, accommodation. Yeah, uh, I think we need to talk about this as this site. I guess. Yeah. So one of them is um, Open Rent. Open you, you see it on the link there. And basically, Open Rent is you're having a direct. Uh, Dealing with the with landlord most times, yeah, like ninety five percent of the time. Ninety five percent of the times, you're dealing directly with the landlord. Yeah, and yeah. I feel that if you deal directly with the landlord, I feel you stand a more. This is my own opinion, right? So yeah. I feel if you if you are able to deal directly with the landlord, you stand a more better chance of getting the apartment. Yeah, because you tend to speak to the landlord directly, right? And then most times. If you finish speaking to the landlord, you get appointment for viewing. When you go, you have a better opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with the landlord. So yeah. that's one site you should check. So um, for the open rent, I think is you can only register with a UK number. Yeah, you can, you know, if you're not in the UK, or even if you're not in the UK, but you have a... Uh... Someone who has a UK number, mm. yeah, at that, that's and fine. then those of you or those of us that when we went to TLS, they gave you a phone number, yeah, a SIM card, card yeah. so you can actually 
use that number of that to SIM register. card to register in open rent. So that's just the only thing. If you are still in Nigeria, you want to make use of open rent, you need to make use of a UK number. Then the uh, open rent and also have a Zoopla. Zoopla, yes. Uh, you can check out Zoopla and um, you can check out maybe go on advanced search to put it based on your preference that means your selection whether you're looking for two bedroom furnished or unfurnished mm -hmm. just stuff like that then you have to get options of what fits your budget your yeah. then i uh, also have uh, on the market that's have, yeah. that's the largest right that's the largest, yes yeah. on the market they also have um, well, these are sites we used mm -hmm. we also have um, gum tree yes, yes. Gum tree. tree, yeah, and if there are maybe any other ones that I'm also come. going to talk more about this gum tree. Yeah, <laughs> this gum tree, yeah. like honestly, you can easily get accommodation in gum tree, and not just gum tree, there are so many things, so much that people don't know about this gum tree. But for now, we are only talking about accommodation, so let me just restrict this to accommodation. accommodation. But gum tree is very, is a very good site so we'll okay with a video yeah on, on uh, that you can do on, do on gum gum tree. Tree. though most of this this sites we mentioned still you have to be careful because some people some persons do get scam scam understand so it's just for you to know like looking for a property and uh, maybe they're telling you to pay for deposit before coming for viewing or they tell you view the property and yet you're not going to have a physical look at that property, at that property. Understand? or you see a property maybe you're seeing a two Bedroom flat, for instance, you see a two bedroom flat and they're giving it out for 350 400 But like, it looks, uh, you understand, you might say, oh, okay, it's cheaper, but sometimes those signs, those are red flags. Yes, I need to look, exactly. Look into, yeah. And then you see some houses being advertised on most of these sites and there are no pictures. Of, yeah, those houses. of those houses so i will strongly advise that for those kind of houses where they advertise without pictures make sure you actually go to view those houses yeah and make sure you make every you've gotten all the doc all the requirements before making any uh any payment any payments. commit and okay. also if you are making any commit try to ensure that when you are making this payment you make it with a transfer like a bank transfer you know so that you can actually have evidence tomorrow to show that you actually paid this person or there even if you pay cash in some extent but let it be that 70 percent of the payment is done through transfer yeah, yeah. so now let's we'll go straight to the point or yeah the, we'll quality, what, to the cocoa the cocoa the, the, like, tips. Like, the tips the main right why we have yeah shooting this video and just the secret the secret and just the let us say what we what played out during the process of getting an accommodation in right. Newcastle. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let me start from uh, Sweetberry. Like. Okay, so first of all, now, this is going to be number one tips, okay? It works for us. And um, let's assume you've finished, you've gone online, you've checked houses, and you like some of these houses, and you've sent a message, and they have booked you for a viewing. So basically, before you even go into the process of renting the house, you must be booked for viewing to come and see the place if you like it. So like Honeyberry said, when you apply, actually book this apartment and invite you for viewing, sometimes you could be the number 40 person. In short, I don't eh? forgot you. <laughs> that was one, one of the issues that pissed me off. Like, okay. There was a time when it, like, it was mushed. I, I just told her that, see, I'm off. Like, <laughs> you but, see this uh, but, accommodation but, where but I was like... Note, why should you be booking 40 people, people for one just, just apartment. apartment? It doesn't make sense. Like, how can just one apartment, 40 people will be viewing the apartment and out of those 40 persons, only one, one person, person they will pick. To, so you can see that the the competition is tight mm. you understand so one of the tips i want to give okay because you already know that the competition is high so you need to do everything possible to stand out oh, yeah. so one of the thing we did or let me say yeah we did okay mm. is that um try as much as possible to create a rapport with the person or the agent or the landlord who is actually present with you during the viewing 
Okay, so let's assume that it's an agency that is actually handling the apartment renting for the landlord. So basically what they will tell you is that this agent will organize this viewing and people will come and view and after everything they will send you an application form to fill which they will send back to the landlord. Alright, so they will tell you that the landlord will make a decision who is going to be um, renting that particular apartment now in as much as they are telling you that it's the landlord that has the final say they actually have a say yeah. all right they are they can actually influence or assist influence the decision of the landlord so when you go out to you know see this viewing or when you go out for this viewing try as much as possible to relate with the whoever either the agent that is there or the landlord himself relate with them, try to speak to them, try to let them know your current, uh, you know, um, situation in terms of accommodation. I actually did it a lot and it actually worked for me. Let me give you one example. The present place we are actually staying. So I went for this place. It was a two-bedroom apartment. So when I got there, I, I, I spoke to the lady. Hello, how you doing? And all of that. After exchanging pleasantry, the first thing I asked her is, this accommodation, how many people have viewed this place? Because I was already kind of getting tired of going to view a place and then later they'll tell you that the landlord has lent it out to someone else. So I was already tired. So mostly what I just did, I said, hello. So how many people are viewing this place? So the lady actually responded to me and said, um, we are like five that are viewing this particular place. That was actually... Okay, compared to other places I've been to, because it took me 10 people, 15 people, but she said it was five. And then I went ahead to say, you know what, I really don't want to start viewing this place. And after I finished viewing the place, I fell in love, in love with the place and I'm not being offered the whole, you know, apartment. It's really heartbroken. I've stayed in the hotel for two weeks now, paying Airbnb. I'm with a child who's not been able to stable uh, to be stabilized. My daughter hasn't resumed school. You know, it's not like I'm complaining, but I'm trying to, you know, let her know my situation. And then I'm also trying to let her know that it's not just about loving the place. Because she was like, do you like the place? And then I said, it's not just about liking the place. I like, I mean, I'm looking for accommodation. The place looks nice, but it's not after viewing the place, I don't get it. So I really want this place. If there's anything she can do for me, I started telling her that I'm a very hardworking lady and that um, I can actually, I'm respectful. I like taking care of this. I like taking care of the my rented apartment as though it's my personal, you know, uh, apartment. She wouldn't have any issue about, you know, complain because I'm a loving person. My husband is a loving person. You know, as far as she was like, oh, really? I said, yeah, we just really need a place. You understand? So I already built this rapport with her. And then I, and she, she then asked me, okay, so uh, is this place okay for you? Because you mentioned that you're a student and all of that. What? Yeah, no, the open. <laughs> Just to repeat. It's, it's funny. No, no, no. It's, it's funny. It's, it's making so... me to laugh. Don't, to <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him. So, guys, I'm only trying to tell uh... you that based on the rapport I already had with her. So, basically, that's why she, you know, okay, so, um, this place, is this place really okay for you? I was like, yeah, it's okay. Then she was like, if this place is not okay for you, I have somewhere else. I don't know if you get me. Had it been, I have not started, have, uh, you know, the, the, like the creating a rapport, like yes. between, uh, people sharing emotional, uh, having emotional communication, like yeah, she feeling you and uh, try to understand your pains or okay, like, yeah, the, you situation. the situation. So I've already brought everything open to her. So she was now trying to. No, I'm and not saying all of them are like that, yeah. but I'm saying that you could stand the child. Had it been yeah. I haven't started yeah, this communication, it would have just been I viewed the place and I will and she'll be like, Okay, I will send you an application form, you'll fill it, I will go through it, and you know, because that's what they normally do. That's the norm. They will when you finish viewing the place, they'll say, Okay, that's it. So I will send you an application form, you'll fill it and get back to you. Do you understand? But because of the communication and all of that I had with her, in fact, I haven't had to tell her that, ah, you really look like somebody I know. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> yeah, honestly, see, you have to do whatever you can do to stand out. So that even if they want to make a decision, they will keep remembering you. 
you understand you got to do whatever so i was like ah you look like somebody i know i used to have i i used to, because i told them i told her that i worked in dubai before so i have some colleagues that worked with me some of them we are from philippines and and then she was like really let me see the picture of the person uh, guys can you see like i've already built up this rapport with her and then i showed her a picture of a friend of mine and she was like no i don't look like i already knew she did not look like the person per se mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but i was only trying to you know build up rapport and all of that and then she was not saying that i have another apartment okay the apartment is close to your school so how about you check it out forget about this one this one is a bit far i'm like no it's not far it's okay i mean but guys it was actually far. it was like 55 minutes away from my school but i did not care they, i was willing to take it willing to take it because i was I was done with looking for accommodation. So she was like, there's an apartment I have which is closer to your school. Why not you take it? Okay, I mean, you should take that one to be closer. And I'm like, no, I, I'm okay with this one. Then she was like, that particular apartment, I have not put it up on any letting site. Go and check it. I feel it will be closer to your school. If you check it and you like it, we'll start up the whole paperwork and I'm not going to put it up for viewing in any letting site. Guys, so you can see when I said my own accommodation is a miracle because this particular accommodation, it was not put on any letting site. It was just because of the rapport I had with this particular agent. This is why she decided that, okay, I have something better for you because she already knew my situation. She already knew where I was coming from and all of that. So guys, in as much as you might be in a haste to look at the apartment and don't just look at the apartment and go, try to create a form of rapport. You see what happened? Like, um, if not uh, because of the conversation, she, the lady, uh, the agent knew already that that property she viewed, she's not going to get it. But they'll just say that don't worry, we'll get back to you. Yeah. But because of the communication they had, she had to like see this apartment, to be honest, you're not gonna get it because yeah. there are other people who are competing. Yeah, exactly. Who are willing to offer one and twelve and uh, one year. Yeah, or exactly. Six years. Or six so months, uh, like that, that she was like, Okay, don't worry, since this one with my I I know that if I should go do, follow due process, you're not gonna get it. Mm -hmm. But I think I have another property that has not been on the letting site at all. So let me use that one as a favor. Before that one will be placed on the on the letting size, then let's say we can negotiate with that. I think that was all just played that because so you need to have this uh open mind to share, so share, share some yeah, certain yeah, 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 some certain things surrounding your situation. Because most of us, we don't want to make decisions. If they have person don't want to make decisions, once your name is there and other names, once they see your name. Your story keeps popping in your yeah. head. Like, this person, okay. He has a I think this person has yeah, a, yeah, a, his, a his time conscious. Yes. He has his need. I think he's he's willing to the others to take the property. So I think that was what uh and yeah, that thing yeah. again, let, in my own situation, it was funny enough. I was actually speaking to the owner of the real estate company. Yeah. So that also made it a bit easier. That's why I said if you are speaking to the landlord direct, it made things a bit easier easier because she is the one or the landlord will be the one to actually make the final decision so, right even like from uh not experience or from what i've learned mm. sometimes they will tell the landlord makes decision apply same principle or just be open to either the landlord or an agent just be, because most times they'll tell the landlord will make the decision because the landlord has a direct i mean the agent has a direct conversation with you looking for the house and yeah, so most of the time it's the agent that even Select maybe out of the five and say that the landlord that people. this is the person that these are the ones that like they meet up the criteria of paying you higher or you understand. So to me, it's not just of, about paying. No, this one yeah. meets the criteria first. Yeah, of all. Papa, in respect of that is uh, whoever they meet still. If one the yeah, it's open, true. Not just if for the landlord, meet the you agent, because you can't be waiting said, for the landlord. If you meet the agent and the agent said they will take the document to the landlord for the landlord to make the decision, still just tell the landlord the, your situa the agent, agent. your situation. Yeah, yeah. And then also tell the agent that he should put a word or two on your behalf to the landlord. Yeah. All right? So that alone, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it makes um, you... Make sure you let them know that you're a very hardworking person, you're a dedicated person, 
you are kind, you don't have any, you not going to give them any reason for concern. You try to take care of the property as though it's yours. Try to give them some good attribute about yourself. And even on the application form they're going to give to you, try to make sure that you put some good words about yourself, uh, uh, you know, on the paper. Okay, so and, uh, that's yeah, just it for it, one. A bit fair for us was uh, some decisions we took. Mm. Like uh, I tell most persons when they come to UK, you don't just wait and be looking for your dream job. Because another thing that played out for us that made them to see that, okay, no, it won't be an issue for them to pay the rent. Even if you're coming, you're showing them back um, bank statement that you have uh, so much amount, amount in your, your account. account. Yeah, most of the times it doesn't speak. But what they want is, now, is what are you doing now? If you said I'm applying, I have interview in here, uh, in this company, they want to know, the inter have you started the job? Is it a zero-hour job? Is it a permanent job? So those things played... They do play. So if you're coming to the UK and you're looking for accommodation, the first thing our advice is for you to try and get a job. Because most times once they just want to find that if you're working. If mm. A is working and you you B, you come and say you've applied and you're yet to get a job, though you've attend uh, you've had interviews, they will prefer taking the first person that has a job. Yeah. You understand? Like and what they'll say, okay, if they come, what job can they do? The easiest job you can get here when you get you come to the UK that like if you learn today I promise you next tomorrow you're going to start the job is Amazon it's true it's Amazon if you go to Amazon you see all both mighty, great and mighty men they are all working there as long as yeah it's pretty because one thing I believe is that everyone has a reference point you must have a point like it's a, a place of start up a, a place of starting up you understand you must have a place of starting up so Coming and looking for house and yet you're not looking for a job. It's, it's gonna be hectic. Yeah. Because if you have only if you have one million in Nigeria, if you convert it to UK, I don't that in three weeks you exhaust that money. That's one thousand two hundred pounds. Too much, you understand? Yes. So you can say you have more than enough that you, when you get what they you just what you need is just a job. So what one of the criteria what really helped us was even with all this all this process, when we came in less than three days, I've gotten a job. So when they were asking, is your husband working? She said yes. In short, currently he's at his place of work. That's why he hmm. couldn't be in the at the, at the, yeah, for the theory. So she was okay, okay. And uh, can can they see his space sleep? Was like okay, yes, can see his space sleep. Okay, what kind of job permanent? And uh, I got to my company. I told them I've gotten an accommodation. Blah, blah. I need the reference later. And uh, my company, immediately, they provided, they provided the, reference the reference letter. So, guys, another thing again, when we are talking about this accommodation, these people will always ask for guarantor. Okay, so they always ask you to provide guarantor. We did not have guarantor. So, one major thing that actually helped us was the fact that my husband was already working. So, when they asked for guarantor, we weren't able to provide guarantor. Then they asked for reference from his place of work. Yeah. So, it was Amazon where he was working, okay, that now provided the reference. So, we did not um, get the accommodation with the guarantor, but we were able to get the accommodation because my husband was able to prove that he was working. And Amazon were also able to send reference on behalf of my husband to the um, uh, renting agent so you can see had it been he said that oh i have to because some, i see some people making that mistake all right they'll tell you that if i go and get a job now tomorrow um, i get a accommodation that is far away from this mm -hmm. place how am i going to do it i don't know if you understand but if you are looking for a job if you are looking for accommodation also look for a job most At least clothes, something you can just sure do for the meantime they don't want to be sure that you can pay your rents, you understand? Yes, that, yes. At least when you're, you're asking for the next rent, that you the money is available. So, so they, don't, they just want to be sure. So I think these are just a few. Yeah. Um, it's just something else. Uh, I think there's something else I wanted to say, but I think it has escaped my head. But guys, these two tips, okay? A reference from your place of work is going to help a lot, especially if you don't have a guarantor. And then another one again, what's it called? Um... And try to create a rapport with whoever that is going to be assisting you with the viewing. It's also going to help you a lot. And for those of you that also don't have a guarantor, you can, there's always a way of going around it as well. All right. So you can also, you know, send me an email if you want to know anything or you really want to have more understanding on how to go about all of this. 
I'll be happy to, you know, assist you or just send a comment, drop a comment, ask your question. I'll also be willing to assist you. All right. So, and then that thing again, I wanted to say number three tips for those of you that are coming in as international students. Right. So there is okay, notion. Yeah. There's this notion that if you are coming in as international student, yes, it's not a notion, it's true. You're exempted from paying council tax. So because of that, it's as though that you, the the main applicant who is the student, should be the one looking for the uh, accommodation. My dear, I tried it, I tried it, it wasn't working for me. But when I changed the narrative, it started working. Yeah. So um, I'll see some uh, view, um, apartments online, I'll send them a message. Oh, I'm a student, I intend moving in with my husband and my daughter. I intend moving in uh, or starting the rent accommodation by so-so-and-so date and all of that. I'm, entire, I'm a student, my, although my husband will be working full-time and all of that. I don't get any response. Do you understand? And most times, if I get a response, they will tell me, oh, sorry, students are not allowed in this apartment. All right? But then I change the narrative. So rather than uh, coming up with saying, I'm a student, you understand, stuff like that, I, I normally say, I'm interested in this apartment. I am currently working. I'm working full time. And I'll be moving in with my wife and my daughter. Simple. Yeah. Because that's the truth. My husband will be moving in with me. And our daughter. So the aspect of I'm a student is wiped out. All right, because he's the one applying to get the accommodation and he's entitled to work full time. All right, and obviously he has already started working. Immediately I started using this narrative for each and every application I sent out for viewing, all of them contacted me unlike before so if you're a student don't be pushing projecting yourself if your husband will be coming with you or your spouse will be coming with you project the person who is entitled to, to work full time all right because these people they love giving their apartment to people they feel are working because they feel if you are working you stand a better chance of you know paying your rent mm -hmm. than you that as a student so please take that into consideration i'm and telling you it's not okay. going to be easy but you yes, stay yes, true yes, mm -hmm. and please before the end of this video please kindly subscribe yeah. please kindly subscribe to our channel I think we'll be giving you more tips uh, in regards exactly. to our uh, to... lifestyle and uh, how, how to, to set the educational in. content yeah, yeah. How to set in here in the uk and other business opportunities uh, that we'll also coming up. we'll also share with you then please share drop a comment and uh, like and also so and subscribe to our channel then uh, lastly uh what I will advise is for those coming, and uh, to me, I just see it as a means of, uh, as a means of uh, like try to be calculative. For those coming from, whether you're coming from Nigeria, from Ghana, or any part of the world, you're coming to UK. Even if, even as you're coming, just within the period, just within the, the week, a week before coming, or once you get into the UK, you look for a job to do. Because what I'm saying this is that the time you're using to look for an accommodation. You understand like where we, where we stand the where we stand before before got accommodation i think i i was able to connect three other persons who mm. joined me where i was working or where i'm working currently now too so they came but when i told them about it they were extremely happy because one they never they never had an idea about it because even currently to be honest currently now they are still they're still in a job not even the job they are coming, they've not gotten accommodation. Mm. But to them, it's kind of relief. Like what they earn per week is more than and what they are paying, more than enough to fit their bills in the, in the hotel. hotel. Well, more than, and they still have. So imagine if you have a money you've kept for accommodation and yet you're working and still looking for accommodation. So rather, it's, rather, of, rather, rather than spending the money you came in with, you're spending. Part of the money you're working, your the part of the money you're using to work here already in the UK, and still having some change. Mm -hmm. So with that, you can also still save to add to what you have. And you still, I, I think I've heard a couple of stories of individuals who came to the UK. They came with two thousand pounds, and within thirty days, you understand. 
they exhausted the money with um, bills. And there was and nothing. There was no bills. And it's not like there's anybody here that is outside or somewhere that you can cry to and the person will give you a Or if you, you <laughs> cry, if you get, you, you're looking for a loan and you contact a friend or family member Nobody. from Nigeria. Let's say from Nigeria. And they send... Okay, we're sorry. And they send... Uh, Hundred thousand. How much is hundred thousand? That is hundred pounds. It's not of hundred. Don't not, rely on anybody. No, no that, I'm just saying like it. It, it won't be of good mm. relying on anybody or try to get external funds. But it's something that you could just work out yourself. Exactly. So one thing you should also know is that there's dignity in level, level in this yeah. country. I'm telling you, there's dignity in level. So there's nothing like oh, I'm me that is working as, as a manager, manager. Yeah. I will not come and be working in the warehouse. Yes. <laughs> Like many persons working, you like in the way as we are working, you see a soldier, yeah. a medical doctor whose wife is schooling here. He is a dependent, but he won't wait and say he's looking for his dream job. I you have to start just to fit up. Just to yeah, start just off. To fit up. Just just to start. Start. Apart from that, we are talking about accommodation. accommodation we are not talking yeah. about work. But I will, we are really bringing this work aspect just for you to know that if you're able to get this job, even while you are still looking for accommodation, it yeah. can actually help. You understand? Just like how it's played in our own case, right? Yeah. If you don't have guarantor and all of that, sometimes you have guarantor, they still want to see your work reference. Mm -hmm. And not even work reference from where you're coming from, UK work reference. So guys, if you can, just try to, you know, match the two together. You don't have any, you don't stand anything, you don't lose anything, right? Yeah. So you just got to do it and, you know, you know, you know. So guys, that's it for now. I hope you learned one or two things. If you actually did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe share, share, like. Yeah. So let's build this family yeah. together. Thank so till I come your way next time. Till Bye. We, or till we till come, we come your, way. your way next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>